Before we move on creating new families, let's have a look at materials, because that is important if this is something that we would like to present, not having all objects as uh, we have here in gray. So I would go a step back and, and have a look at uh, the materials for the Damproof course, first of all. Notice that um, the visual uh, style for this view, this 3D view that uh, I'm in here, is what we call shaded view. Hidden line is uh, black and white. Shaded is uh, shaded colors. Consistent color is, as you can see here, the, the colors are the same on both sides. And then we have realistic, where materials will be shown as realistic. I will not recommend that you create 3D views with uh, realistic. So notice that this view is created in a shaded view. So if I select this damproof course and say edit family, I move my mouse over one of the sides. If it's not possible to select the, extru uh, the extrusion, then you can press tab to select and, and then uh, left click and, and select it. You can see the material is set by, uh, by category. So if I click here, I'll open the material browser. I'll create a new material from scratch. Um, so I name this Damproof Course. What we have on the graphics might be um, the representation of what we see when we are in visual style shaded. Um, so that will be the shading color that we, we can set up here. So the Damproof course is uh, some kind of an asphalt felt, uh, and that might be, um, for example, a black color or, or close to, to black, a, a dark gray color. Um, and when I say OK to this, I could change the um the the view here to share the view and then then you can see this is uh this is how it looks <clears throat> so if i save this and i can then load into project and close this one then it will close um the family editor don't be confused about that this um project name is a bit different than uh, probably yours is, because I named this as long as I create this. So override the existing version and its parameter values. Then you can see this damp proof course now became uh, black. Let's take another one because as you can see here is that we have no possibility to change this color inside the project file. So if you need to, to have another, or if you want to have another color, then we need to go into editor family and change it. Wouldn't it be nice that we could change the color inside this project? We'll have a look at that now. But we keep this damp of course uh, as it is now. So we'll take another one. We'll select the beam. Um, if we change this into shaded, we'll see that it, it has this uh, gray color. So when I select the extrusion here, um, instead of just changing the material over here uh, from by category, we can click this one, associate family parameter. So I create a new um, parameter file or uh, not a file, just a new parameter. Um, if I want to have the opportunity to change the material as long as I select it, so we can have a red beam, we can have a blue beam, we can have whatever, then I'm supposed to do that by instance. If I want to control it as we controlled the dimensions on the beam 
as we did before when we created the beam um, is, is supposed to be type. So hopefully now you can begin to understand the difference between type and instance. Let's try to name this color. Um, the discipline is common, we cannot change that. Uh, type of parameter is material. But what is it, uh, where are we supposed to group this under? Um, it, it, it recommends that, that we use materials and finishes, but we can, uh, we, we can change that if we want to do that. But I say that will be fine enough. color and I I change that as um, as a, a type parameter because I will apply this to all types in my selection so <clears throat> it was a type parameter so when I press this one we had those two different types uh, in the project so right now you can see we have added this materials and finishes and I can then begin to change um, the material from this default light gray to uh, something wooden like. So again I create a new material pine. Then I could change this material <coughs> to a shading color um, that looked like uh, a wooden uh, or a pine material. I could also go into appearance, even though I said I, I wouldn't recommend that you create 3D details using the appearance visual style. I can go in here and then I can open this asset browser. This is a, a list of all the materials predefined by Revit or by Autodesk. So um, there's a huge library of different materials to choose from. There's one called wood. If we see what we have in here. Um, now I said the material should be pine. Don't know if uh, a structural beam is made out of pine, but um, anyway. Um, we have up here pine. Let's try to see this one. So if I, I can double click on this, I can say uh, replace the current asset. Um, if we go back to graphics, I will recommend that you use this uh, shading color. So if we click this, it will take uh, a calculation of this image, brown, light brown color, as you see here. So I say OK to this, and we now have pine here. So I say OK to this, and remember that if I go in here, if we have different types here, we need to, to change the material to pine as well here. So, so we can have different types, but we can also have different uh, materials applied to the different types. So again, I save this, load into project and close, overwrite existing and its parameter values.